Now that our table is formatted, let's take a look at some of our text alignment options. Before we do that, let's turn off filtering. In Excel, every column in the table has filtering enabled in the header row so that you can filter or sort your table data without having to go through a lot of extra steps. To do this, we can just go back to the Home tab and click the Sort and Filter command and select Filter from the list. Now, over in the Alignment group, we have some alignment commands that we can use to format our text so our table really looks professional. I think I want to insert another row with the title of our table in A1. We'll call this Scoops Shop Inventory. You know, that's the name of my ice cream shop. I want this title to appear centered over my entire table, so I'll just select A1 through G1, and then in the Alignments group, I'll select the Merge and Center command. Now my title appears centered across the table. As you can see, the column markers don't appear anymore in row 1, which indicates those cells have been merged into one. If you change your mind, you can always click the drop-down arrow next to the command and choose Unmerge Cells. Now that our title is centered, I'd like to center my column headings. First, I just need to select those cells and then click the Center Alignment command. If I wanted to, I could align the text to the left or align it to the right, but I think it looks best centered. Now I do think the package size would look best right aligned, so I'll just left click the column heading to select column E and then click the Align Text Right command. Another set of alignment commands in the group are the Top Align, Middle Align, and Bottom Align commands. To see how these work, let's increase the height of row 1, and I'll just go ahead and make our title bigger, and bold it. Now, if I click the top align command, the title will align to the top of the cell. The bottom align command moves the text to the bottom of the cell, and the middle align command centers it in the middle. A really useful alignment command is the wrap text command. To show you how this works, let me start a new column in H1. As I move down to the next cell, Excel realizes that I am adding to the table and automatically formats it for me. Now, in H2, I want to type a reminder to myself. This is a bestseller, order more. As you can see, the text is overflowing to the next cell. If I want to format this so I can view all the text, I can select the cell and click the wrap text command. All the text is wrapped and appears in the cell. If you don't want to format each cell individually, you can select multiple cells and then click the wrap text command. Now, when I enter text into the cell, it will automatically wrap so that it all appears. You can still adjust the column width and the text will wrap to fit the new column size. The final command I want to show you is the orientation command. This one allows you to format text in a variety of ways, such as clockwise, vertical, and rotated. I think I'll insert another column and add more information here along the left. After inserting the column, I need to type in the information, then select a couple of cells here on the side, and click Merge and Center. Now, if I click the Orientation command and click Rotate Text Up, the text will be formatted here on the side. I need to increase my text size so it will line up with the top of my spreadsheet. There. 
That looks pretty good. Whether we are moving, rotating, or wrapping text, Excel 2007 makes aligning text easy.